After a long summer break, Formula 1 is set to return back to action this weekend and they race at one of the most iconic circuits on the calendar. If the name of the track doesn't sound familiar, then this section of the track will surely look familiar. The circuit of Spa has always been a timeless circuit. It's one of the longest on the calendar at 7 kilometers long and it also has the biggest elevation change. This means that the height difference from the highest point and the lowest point of the track is about 100 meters. Now as a kid, a 100 meter race always seemed pretty long, right? Now imagine that distance but just vertically, like a building with around 30 stories. That's pretty intense when you're blasting around in the fastest track machine on God's green earth. Well then, what are some of the changes that are taking place at this race? The changes are with regards to the fans and not so much for the drivers. The official statement from the promoters and organizers have some rules that they are expecting every fan to follow. Have respect for everyone. No glass, no smoke bombs, no weapons, no alcohol. Bikes are not allowed inside the circuit. No pets, no barbecues, no drones. Don't steal things. So at first glance, this all seems pretty normal, right? It seems like the rules of a normal movie theater. But the main points are number 3 and number 5. Because of what went down at the Austrian Grand Prix. At the Austrian Grand Prix just a month or so ago, the Dutch fans went wild. There were plumes of orange smoke that covered sections of the track. Now apart from obviously making it very dangerous for the drivers, there were also questions about the safety of the other fans at the venue. The drivers raised their concerns though about the visibility, with even Hamilton and Verstappen voicing their concerns. But sadly, that wasn't even the worst part of this specific race. It was the harassment that the fans received and in particular, the female fans. Throughout the four-day event, there were reports of fans getting harassed with racial slurs, sexual remarks, catcalling and many, many other incidents. The reports also said that the abuse mainly came from older, drunk men. This led to very strong criticism from everyone, drivers, teams, journalists and even Formula 1 themselves, who said that they would discuss matters with the promoters. So this is one of the main reasons that there won't be any alcohol at the Belgium Grand Prix. Formula 1 is a sport that is enjoyed by everyone from children to old people regardless of their age, gender and even sexual orientation. Fans love Formula 1 for the thrill of speed and everyone should be able to enjoy a race weekend without getting harassed. So what do you think? Are these rules a bit too harsh or are these rules much needed to keep everyone safe? In the words of the F1 CEO, there's no space for idiots in this world. So thank you for watching this video. For more Formula 1 related news, stay tuned to Fervent Motorsports.